she ain't nothing. Hey. You ain't gotta like it, cause the hula don't love it. Hey. You ain't gotta like it, cause the hula don't love it. Hey. Watch a young nigga show us ass, I'm puppy. Hey. Hello guys, Kingdom Boys is here, and this is my review for If I Stay. If I Stay is the new romantic drama film directed by R.J. Cutler and stars Chloe Grace Moretz. The film follows the story of the gifted classical musician Mia and her boyfriend Adam, an up-and-coming indie rock star. Torn between two paths in life, her art, or her relationship, Mia is forced to make an even starker choice between life and death when she is caught in a fatal car accident with her family one snowy morning in Oregon. Now, walking in If I Stay, I was kind of excited because I haven't seen all the trailers yet and it's a Chloe Grace Moretz movie. What could go wrong? Well, unfortunately this movie got mixed reviews from critics and got a 38% on Rotten Tomatoes and that's harsh. So I wanted to see if just to see if that's skept that if it's that skeptically bad and walked out of it. I don't understand what the hate is about for If I Stay. I thought it was a really fun movie. If I Stay is one of the most dramatic, fun and energetic romantic comedy movies I've seen so far this year. Not as good as the fault in our star, not as good as Ruby Sparks, but it is a pretty fun movie. Chloe Grace Moretz gives out her best in this movie. She did a really good job in this movie and since her last two successful films Kick-Ass 1 and 2 and The Holy Crap Third that is Movie 43, I'd say that this was a huge improvement of her career. Jamie Blackley was decent in this movie. I mean his chemistry with Moretz was brilliant but the fact that people are making them as a couple is just not really mixed together very well. At all. The film has so many terrific tales to let you explore the story itself, the characters, and the runtime. If I Stay has visually stunning cinematography, there were no shaking scenes at all in this movie. And I had to praise the cinematographer for that, and basically the pacing was really well done. RJ Cutler's direction was the most finer pieces I've found in this movie by far. He really captivates me so well in this movie overall, and his adaptation of the book itself because it, it makes sense. Even though I haven't read the book yet, it felt really genuine as a novel based adaptation movie. And you really know how to give out fresh ideas to the actors and writers. The only main issue I have with this movie is that the ending was really bad. Spoiler alert, Mia finally awakens and sees Adam and Adam says her name and the movie literally ended. I'm like, that's it? No boyfriend and girlfriend moment? Okay. Overall, If I Stay is one of the most finest underrated movies I've seen in 2014. I'm gonna give If I Stay a 4 out of 5. Well, that was my review for If I Stay. Thank you all very much for watching. I'm gonna have my reviews up for The Purge Anarchy and Sin City A Dame to Kill for coming pretty soon. So yeah, stay tuned for those awesome, cooly stuff. I'm Gina My 6 and please subscribe. Peace.